the Cincinnati Bengals had absolutely no answer for them running wise uh, offensively, even though AJ Green dropped a big time pass from Andy Dalton to put it right in his hand. Uh, in the end, uh, I, I put him out of the game. That's right, could have made it a game, but in the end, uh, uh, Dalton just, I mean, he, he just didn't get it done as usual. Let me say this, and this needs to be said. I am on the record on many, many occasions, as you well know, Skip Bayless. Um, one of the things that I, I, I'm unapologetic about doing is I, I bring attention uh, to the plight of African-American coaches, particularly on a collegiate level, not so much on a professional level. Um, I, I, I don't wish for anybody to fail. Uh, but considering uh, the paucity of coaches throughout history uh, that has graced the NFL, the Tony Dungy's of the world I rooted for, the Lovey Smiths of the world I rooted for, you know how I feel about my man Mike Tomlin, okay? Marvin Lewis should be fired to death. I'm going to say that again. Marvin Lewis should be fired to death. This afternoon, the work day for Monday, January 6th, should not end with Marvin Lewis being the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm not saying that the man does not know football. I know he does. I'm not saying that I forgot what a stout defensive coordinator he was because we all know a legitimate argument can be made that he is, is more responsible or just as responsible for the Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl championship yeah. in 2001 as Brian Billick was. We understand all of that. But I don't care. Let him go back to being a defensive coordinator. I don't know the man. I respect him as a man. I respect some of the things that he had to go through in order to become a head coach in this game. But you can't have 11 years on a job with not one single playoff victory and keep your job. It is time for somebody else to receive an opportunity. White, black, Hispanic, Native American, Asian American, I don't care who it is. Somebody other than Marvin Lewis. 11 years and you can't win a playoff game with this talent. I mean, they are arguably the deepest team in the NFL. Too deep at tight end. You know, four deep at wide receiver. Too deep with your running back. Andy Dalton is no scrub during the regular season at the very least. Your defense is stopped. Personnel decisions in terms of the, uh, the talent that has been placed on your roster, you have at your disposal. Yep. You are undefeated at home in the regular season, and then the playoffs arrive, and you stick up the joint and wet the bed. It is inexcusable. It is inexcusable. If this were anybody else, they would be out of a job. Marvin Lewis should be out of a job. I don't care about the loyalty or whatever the case may be. The Cincinnati, the citizens of Cincinnati have spoken. Because it took them until the 11th hour to sell out the game, which means they did not want to go. There was some trepidation, some apprehension. Yeah. We heard our own Tom Jackson, mm -hmm. all right, who, you know, has roots in Cincinnati, lives there. all right, lives there, who has said, who said yesterday, quote, you have people that's looking at Andy Dalton, they had the feeling yeah. that, you know what, we kind of know what is going to happen yeah. here. Yeah. And the players themselves... We constantly hear about coaches, and this is why I love my man Lou Holtz, because he once said something incredibly profound, Skip, that has stayed with me forever. He said, you got to make decisions. He said, because you got to think about what's fair to your players. If a coach isn't getting the job done as a head coach, you got to get rid of that coach, because the players deserve the best that you have available. Well, if your management or ownership of the Cincinnati Bengals, the citizens of Cincinnati have spoken, and the players themselves in their body language tells you they don't believe in Andy Dalton. I'm not saying he's a scrub. I'm just saying they know that when the big moment arrives, this dude is going to shrink. Yep. Marvin Lewis's job is to make sure you can either fix that problem or offset it by getting max production from everything around him. Not only has he failed to do so, he has failed to do it for 11 years. Yep. It is time for him to go. He should not have the head coaching job for the Cincinnati Bengals by 5 o'clock today. It should be over. It is that simple. I greatly respect you for taking that stand against that coach on this day. I agree with you on your stand. From what I'm being told, I don't think he's going to get fired because I think the brunt of the blame will fall on that quarterback that you spoke of. But I look at what Marvin has done. He is 90 
90 and 1 over 11 years. So he's a 500 football coach. And yet we were told going into these playoffs, even by, as I pointed out on Friday's show, by the great Bill Polian, deepest roster in the AFC belonged to Marvin Lewis. Bill picked the Bengals to, to sweep through the AFC portion of the playoffs. Several people did. You have to hold the coach accountable for what didn't happen because to me, that loss yesterday by the Bengals was an even worse loss than the Chiefs suffered in their collapse on Saturday at Indianapolis. Given the roster, given that they were a seven point favorite at home, given the fact they had won their division, that's a horrible loss. Now again, was it a predictable loss because of the quarterback? I said the day after that draft, I applauded the Bengals for taking Andy Dalton in the second round because that was a good place to take Andy Dalton. I said he was pretty good when he was at TCU, always as sort of an underdog type quarterback. But what I've seen over these three years is, look at the records. He goes nine and seven, then he goes 10 and six, then he goes 11 and five. He's a pretty good regular season quarterback, but I'm with you. When it is time, he is 0 and three in the playoffs because to me, as you saw in that, that clip we just showed, he has kind of a second rounder's body language yep. and a second rounder's it factor or lack thereof and a second rounder's leadership charisma or lack thereof. I, I, I wouldn't want to follow Andy Dalton in the back. We've had him on the show. He's a nice kid. So what? Because that's where it ends. He's not a playmaker. He's a mistake maker when it matters the most. Right. He, he is the classic sort of game manager, but, but ultimately in these playoff rounds, you got to make one play somewhere, and you can't make bad plays. When you go a whole second half at home and you don't score a point, they were 8-0 at home, and they couldn't sell out because those fans are sophisticated. They're smart. They know. They saw it coming. They saw the handwriting, and they didn't want to go sit through that. The weather turned out to be okay, and it rained, obviously, in the second half, but nobody wants to go sit through that outside knowing that the inevitable collapse is going to occur in the second half. And right on schedule, as you say, he dies and still slides, and then it's this interception, that. I know the blitzes were coming from everywhere. I don't care. If you can win your division at 11 and 5, you've got to be good enough to at least win one playoff game. So, so that's a problem. But the bigger problem is Marvin Lewis. I think he's a fine football coach. And I will back, uh, he deserves another shot somewhere else. He needs a change of scenery because the Bengals need a change of scenery. They need a new voice. They need a new direction. After 11 years, you need to go somewhere else with somebody. The, the cover obviously is not there. Now, they did lose Geno Atkins, right. one of the finest defensive tackles, yeah. nose tackles, but, and they lost Leon Hall, starting for Everybody loses somebody. They were still, as you point out, incredibly, laughably deep. I mean, they can overcome lots of injuries because they got firepower everywhere. Come on. You, something is deep wrong there. Between the quarterback and the coach, and I'm with you, both need both to go together. This may be the most uncomfortable show that I've ever done for first take. Because what I'm about to say is something that I've never said about anybody, but I'm going to say it right now. Marvin Lewis does not deserve a second chance to be a head coach in this league. Really? He does not. Oof. And it hurts me to say that, but I'm going to tell you why. 11 years. Lovey Smith deserved a second chance. And remember, when the Chicago Bears let him go, I supported that because my whole point was you had nine years. The mandate was to make the playoffs. You had missed the playoffs the last few years. It's time for a new voice. They made it one right, that's right. Years. They're one in six years. But you had made the playoffs three times. You had won the NFC championship game. So in other words, that's not an indictment against you as a head coach, Lovey. It's just that at this particular spot, you need to move on and go somewhere else and do something, okay? If Mike Tomlin, God forbid, who I love, was to lose his job for the Pittsburgh Steelers next year, whatever the case may be, he go somewhere else because the man went to two Super Bowls and won a Super Bowl championship. And it's proven that he can win. You just have ups and downs as a roller coaster. It's the NFL. The Cincinnati Bengals have been consistently mediocre or worse in 11 years. I mean, you can't have the regular season's mediocre. What, 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 I'm trying, what, what I'm saying to you is that give me a 10 and 6 or 11 and 5 season, Skip, the vast majority of the 11 years have been mediocre. 
The fact of matter, the fact of the matter is, is that you haven't done anything for 11 years. And I'm going to say something, and this is why I said it was going to be uncomfortable, but it needs to be said. When you are in this position, this chair that I'm sitting in, and you are in a position to call people out and to hold people accountable, and obviously being a black man, you've got black folks that are really, really aching for you to call folks out. You have to hold them accountable. How the hell can I do that if I say nothing about Marvin Lewis? Mm -hmm. I can't do that. 11 years, if this man keeps his job, as the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. Skip, guess what? I can't say anything about Jason Garrett. I can't say anything about Gary Kubiak. I can't say anything about a plethora of coaches out there if, I'm, if I am quiet and silent for a dude that can't win a playoff game in 11 years. 11 years. Skip, 11 years ago, my headline was here. 11 years ago, I, I, you understand what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I, I can't, I don't know what to think about. 11, 11 years? Oh, to the, I mean, are you kidding me? And by the way, it's not like you went to the playoffs 9 to 10 years and can't win a playoff game. You missed the playoffs 6 of the 11 years. The other 5 that you win, you can't win a playoff game. You've got the deepest roster. You've got an owner who's loyal primarily because he's cheap, don't want to go out there and spend money on anybody else. You've got a fan base that is just, just despondent, that just threw. Whether it's with you and your quarterback, we can't make up our minds. Everywhere you turn, the man hasn't gotten it done. And to me, to me, I can't sit up here with a clear conscience and let that pass. Yep. But I'm going to call out Jason Garrett yep. for his mediocrity or the plethora of other coaches out there who ain't getting the job done. But I'm going I'm to turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to Marvin Lewis. I will not do that. I will not do that to you. I will not do that to you. I will not do that to the show. I will not do that to this network. I will not do that to the sports world. Marvin Lewis has got to go. It's just that simple. He's got to go as a head coach. And I'm not saying he never deserves to be a head coach again, but there better be a whole bunch of other people who get a first chance before he gets a second chance. This ain't a three or four year stint, bro. Yeah. This is 11 years that this man cannot win a playoff game. Enough. You got to go. It's about production. It's the American way. It's results. And he hasn't produced them. It's just that simple. I'm sorry. And it hurts me to say that. It really, really does. I don't. I take no enjoyment from it. But Marvin Lewis has got to go. Thank He's got to go. Both agree that quarterback and coach much must, must move on. Coming up next, folks, uh, we're talking about the